circle installed and I really like how it's lined up. It goes all the way around. And this part right here, this inner circle, I'm going to remove this because I don't like that. It just looks tacky. Uh, that was also a previous version and I don't really like that either. So I'll probably, I was planning just to have the track come out to there, but I'll probably make it to where it comes in some, all the way to there. And then somehow it goes back out when it reaches that tower. And there's going to be an inner circle of track as well that starts about right here. So the idea with this was to just have some the balls, just in case they land here, could just come off kind of like a roof, but it just doesn't look good and I would have to do a lot to make it work, which I don't want to do. I also removed one of the tower, or not a tower, but the base that was here, going from here to there, that looks like this stuff. And that's because I won't be having a tower right here, which I was planning on doing, but as you can see, the track goes right by there. So I probably won't even have a tower on this area at all, but we'll have to see how that turns out. And I might even add to the middle tower back because we'll need to support stuff around, you know, here. And I don't want to have to run into any trouble with that. Anyhow, I guess I'll start on the track now. Ooh, looks round. I've gotten the whole bottom track finished. And it goes all the way around. That's what it looks like. And if you're wondering why this part isn't all, you know, blue and yellow, there's going to be a ledge that comes up to about right there, about six inches high. So all this stuff will be on the inside of that. So you won't see that part. Here's the beginning track. Pretty simple. Balls will come in through here. So that's nice. And I might still have some work to do on this, like making it stronger. And um, each one of these is attached on both sides, so all the way up. So that's pretty nice. And it is pretty strong the way it is. Next, I plan on doing just a flat grid across here. So it'll cover up the very bottom. The inner wall at its highest is three blue rods tall, and the outer wall is four blue rods. So, I try to get a further away view. Looks nice. So, what's next? After that, obviously putting the tubing on and supporting some more and I guess it'll be totally done for the base and I like the sound of that because usually the bases on these things take weeks to do and this one has only been done in a few days. I do admit I was going to have a track going around here like I previously said but I've decided to just leave that out and make it flat so hopefully no ball will fall on that part but even if it does it won't be a big deal. The track going around the bottom is now finished. I like the look of it. And let's get a video of the balls going down. Go pretty fast. Let's see if we get another shot from this side. The only other thing I'll probably do is double up on these so they'll be 
in between because I did that over here and I think it really helps with keeping the tuning straight. For example right here you can see that this one's kind of over a little bit. But other than that the whole base is really finished. I might make some minor adjustments to the the levels of the track because some of them look like they're a little too high like that one right there. Looks like it's a uh, high spot so I will redo all that and after that it'll be time to begin on the path separator at the top. So I'll finally be done with the bottom and get to move up to the top. Those extra ties have been inserted into the track so like right there and there. And those aren't supported anywhere but they really do help the tubing um, stay straight or maybe I should say stay curved. And this right here is a pass separator that I've been trying to come up with for the past several days. I think it's been like four days now. But I'll probably quit on it because it's really taking a while to come up with all these little sections right here. And as you can see, it really doesn't look good. And I, the way I was justifying that is the fact that it's going to be up top and you be, barely be able to see anything up here. But how this was supposed to work is it's supposed to have these pieces here that knock the ball off into that little free fall. And the free fall has two pins or two levers that it is supposed to uh, press down. But it doesn't really work well. And so I'm just going to do, um, I might try to do one like on Citadel so that at least I wouldn't have wasted my time making this whole circle. So the one on Citadel, just as a reminder, had rods going this way that went up. That made the balls come out. So I'll try doing that and see if it looks a little bit better. Because this thing does not look good at all. But I just wanted to get a video of it, just so I can remember how it was and not make the same mistake in the future. So the only way to attach these was really from the bottom here. And it's, that still doesn't work too well. It's also attached back there. So... Really the only one that worked was this free fall, but then I built that one and it just kind of... It's hard to attach on the circular track. So that's about it for that. So I'll take those off and I won't regret that. And so I'll be back with another update. Okay, so this is kind of how Citadel's worked. It went up like that. But I probably won't even do this. I'll probably just, I guess I'm just gonna have to get rid of this whole circle thing because even this would take maybe two more days to come up with. And like I've said, I've spent four days on this thing, even though I wasn't building it that whole time. But I can't uh, waste any more time with this thing. So I'll just have to do a normal pass separator up at the top instead. I decided to do regular path separators up at the top. I got these built in just a couple hours, so a lot better than four days. So there are seven of them going into eight paths. And I also got that track finished up at the top. Got another view of it. That's what it looks like from up above, even though nobody's going to be looking at it like that. So, pretty simple, but it works. And here's the close up of the track coming out. Going in. Hmm. 
Let's see, I guess I could get a ball on it, even though it's not much point. Yeah, I missed that one. There it is. So that's pretty nice. Let's see, get a view of it far away. I have that filming light over there, but it's super bright. Yeah, so pretty much that is it there.